Hello my friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I'm super excited because I got another product to review for you. And this comes from the launch. It's called Sea Reader 5001 and it's basically OBD2 code reader or code scanner. Here you can see the original package, how it came. Here you can see perfectly the back side of the package. So let's go together, open it and see what is inside and how great it works. And after a little bit of cutting, hopefully I can get inside and show it to you. Ah. Not yet. Here we can see together the main features. And here you can see what was inside of the package when I removed that front panel. So far it looks really cool. This looks like a USB cable and here is the unit itself, you still attach screen protector, this will be that USB connector, let's look on the back side, launch 5001, really cool and let's measure how long this cable is. And why worry about the length of cable? Well, obviously longer cable, more flexibility you have when you are in the vehicle doing some tests. So I can see this one, it's three feet approximately when stretched, three feet and six inches. And inside of the package was this quick start guide, which is in English language only these two pages. That's it. And it really quickly shows some basic operations. Also how you can register and update this unit. And that's all what I have found in the package. So let's go outside together and see how it will work in the vehicle. And this is what you see when you connect it to the car even without putting the key in the ignition let's start it up and see what we can get out of it once again here are all the buttons right and the screen so let's say I want to see the I am readiness so I will push that this is what happens and it will read for us, right, the car, it communicates with the computer. We will see if this vehicle is ready for California smog inspection. I will push OK. And I will scroll through it, right, using the arrows. So it tells us which monitors are ready, right, or which monitors are not available. Is it sharp? I hope it is. And that's a whole list. So basically I can see immediately that I can go to the smog station. I will pass the smog. I don't need to worry about it. I will use this button to get out of it. And again. And let's go to the diagnose. I will put OK. And let's see what it will do.
So it tells me that I have zero um, codes, right? Zero fail codes. I have eight monitors for readiness which are completed. None of them are not completed, two of them are not supported and the data stream supported is from 29 different components. So I can now read codes, erase codes, I am readiness again, data stream, I, I will go with the arrows through it, right? Freeze frame, I can test O2 sensors, it will do the EVAP system mode huh, and vehicle information. Let's go for that, for example. So look, it gives you immediately your VIN number that took like few seconds. The calibrations, yeah, that, that's pretty amazing. I really like that. On some expensive scanners that takes forever. Vehicle does not have freeze frame data. Of course there are no codes. Okay. We already saw that. Data stream. View all items. View graphic items. Let's see how the graphs are looking. So let's say load value and we will put OK on that. How do I show it? Yeah, so I would like to put OK. OK. And we will see the graph. That's pretty cool and nice screen. The chart is nicely visible, right? You can see it. I like it. It's a decent, decent tool, definitely. I look at the Amazon. It's right now for 60 bucks, being sold for $60. That's a very reasonable price for a unit, which shows all this information in my opinion. Will I recommend this to the friend or my mother? Yes, of course. I believe this definitely is worth that $59.99 plus free shipping I'm assuming. This is definitely good enough unit. Let's go in settings, see what is there. So I'm use the arrow, push OK. So basically you can change the language, units of measure and also the beeping, right? I will go back out of it. It's about that help button. Let's see what is there. OK, about the OBD, about data stream tool information and DTC lookup. OK, cool, cool. Sounds good. Oh really, definitely, that's a decent, simple reader. Definitely, I believe it's worth investing $60 instead of paying someone for scanning your car and uh, giving you the code, paying let's say 100 bucks, right? Instead of you can always scan it by yourself using this wonderful tool and you know where you can start your diagnosis from at least you get some reference so I will say definitely worth 60 bucks by the way that screen it's super sharp I don't know why the camera has a little bit hard time with it but I'm assuming because it's dark but it's it's very very sharp it's very easy to read for me and Last thing, let's go through the all data available in the data stream. It's a fuel system one, fuel system two, calculated load value, engine coolant temperature, 
short-term fuel trim bank one, long-term fuel trim bank one, short-term fuel trim bank two, uh, long-term fuel trim bank two. You can see all that numbers, the data, right? And it's basically right now we are we have a nine to twelve. They are not moving engine RPM, right? When I hit the throttle, immediately moves. And it's 25 datas we can watch. Now we are on the page where are the datas 13 to 16. Let's go further. 17 to 20. 21, 24. And there will be the last one, relative throttle position, 2.7%. You can see when I step on it, again, it keeps changing. Excellent! And what I think about this reader or scanner, I will say it's that standard, which we can see for sale around us. I reviewed the similar units in the past and this is very similar. Obviously, this is not a $4,000 scanner, which professional technicians are using. This is simple tool for people who might have a trouble with their car and they need to scan the computer and get those codes out. And not only that, you can also watch the uh, live data, right? But that's a tricky, if you are not mechanic, you probably don't know how to interpret them. But it's there, so that's a definitely plus. So my friend, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, being with me in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and make sure you are subscribed because I have way more car tech videos coming your way soon. See ya.